Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about components of selenium. Today agenda is, we are going to look into each components in detail with its pros and cons. We have list of components to automate the selenium. Totally we have four components. First one, selenium IDE, then selenium RC, then selenium web driver and finally selenium grid now we will see one by one selenium ide nothing but integrated development environment it is a firefox plugin used to record or create the automation test case and execute it it is just a plugin which is available only for the firefox browser now we will see it practically how it will work just navigate to this url you will enter into this page go to the downloads under the downloads you can see selenium ide download latest released version from add-ons mozilla.org just click on this hyperlink it will take you to the add-on screen we are having selenium ide add-on how to install this add-on we have step by step just click on add to firefox you will get a pop-up click on install it is installed the add-on is successfully installed how to confirm that just go to the tools under the web developer you can see selenium ide so just click on selenium ide or you can select from the toolbar also so this is selenium ide window we are using 2.9.1 version now i will record and show you a flow it is in the recording mode username mercury password mercury click on sign in button see whatever the action which we are performing using mouse or a keyboard that will be recorded here simultaneously i am just stopping the execution the first step we need a small modification the base url value is this one just replacing the base url value then i can remove the unwanted steps also now i am going to execute the recorded step and it's a compulsory that we have to launch the mozilla firefox then we have to record it we don't have any facility to launch the mozilla firefox so we have opened the mozilla firefox i am going to run it so you can see it navigated to the required url enter the username password and clicked on sign in button after this page loaded successfully we got the run as one so it is passed in case if any of the step is failed we will get that as a failure as one now you got an idea how we are doing record and playback method i'm just saving this file and saving this test case as mercury demo this is how we will uh, record and run the test script and uh, we can import this particular test suite and can use it in the selenium rcr selenium web driver so that is how the first point is completed and second point is firebug and firepath in uft we will use the object spy to spy the object and get the unique property and its value right same way here we use the firebug to inspect the web elements and this firebug and firepath concept we will uh, cover while automated test case in web driver and third point is it is just a prototyping tool the pros of selenium ide it is very easy to install and use it and uh, we don't need any programming knowledge to work on this and whatever the test case which we have developed we can export and use it in selenium rcn web driver and the cons of selenium ide it is only for the firefox browser so if we have a requirement on chrome or ie browser we can't use the selenium ide 
and it is designed only to create the prototypes of test and uh, third important point is it won't support for iteration and condition operation so we can't implement any coding logic in selenium ide hope you got some idea what a selenium ide how it look like when you have a time install the selenium ide try to record some scenarios and run it the second component selenium rc that is selenium remote control you can see here the book definition r in simple word it is a server act as a api and client library and we can say this as a selenium one also now we will see what is a server then what its role what a server will do it will serving the request let us consider an example facebook page when you enter your username and password and click on login button we can able to navigate to our home page but what happening at the back end when you enter your credentials this application send the request to the server and the server will send the request to the database the database which is available in the facebook inside that database it will validate whether our credential is right or wrong then the database will send the response to the server and from the server we will get the response to the application finally we can able to log in successfully so this is how a server will serving the request the second term api api is nothing but application programming interface what is an interface it is just a mediator from the diagram you can able to guess what is the use of api it is just an a mediator between the website and the account same way selenium rc will act as a mediator between our selenium and the application third technical term is client libraries the client libraries which provides the interface between each programming language and the selenium server so the final conclusion as per the selenium rc architectural diagram selenium rc act as a mediator between the selenium and the application the client library act as a mediator between each programming language and the selenium rc that is what explained in this definition selenium rc remote control is a server act as an api and a client library right now none of the project is using selenium rc we are using selenium web driver so for knowledge purpose you must know what a selenium rc will do the pros of uh, selenium rc we can do the cross browser testing and cross platform testing we can able to perform looping and conditional operation then data driven testing is also possible and the cons of selenium rc the installation is bit complicated and uh, we must know the programming knowledge to develop the automation test case and we need rc server support to run the script hope you got an idea about what is selenium rc selenium web driver and selenium grid will be continued in the next video That's the end of today's session. In case of any clarification, please post your queries or mail me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.